In this video, we'll look at automating employee onboarding service requests with UiPath and ServiceNow. Employee onboarding is a time-consuming exercise for organizations. When a new employee joins an organization, it can take up to two to three working hours to enter data into as many as six different systems just to onboard a single new employee. That is a lot of manual and repetitive work which is repeatable and therefore perfect for UiPath robots to do instead. With the bi-directional integration that we have with UiPath and ServiceNow, you can automatically provision new hires into modern systems and extend the reach of ServiceNow into legacy and custom-built systems to dynamically onboard employees. That can reduce the time it takes to complete the provisioning from hours to minutes. In our example, we'll look at how a new request in ServiceNow will initiate a UI automation to provision an account for a user into SAP and use API automation to create an account in Active Directory. It's important to know that these systems can be substituted for any of your modern or legacy and bespoke built systems to complete this provisioning step. Let's switch over to our ServiceNow environment. You will need the ServiceNow Integration Hub spoke enabled in your ServiceNow environment and a ServiceNow workflow that will trigger the UiPath spoke to initiate the UiPath robot and complete the provisioning steps. I'm going to start by creating a new request and enter the information for my new user. I will populate a couple of different fields. First, I provide a name, surname, phone number, the department John will work in, and his job title. He will be a developer, his manager's email address, and the group. We will make him part of the developers group. This is important for the creation of his Active Directory account. Next, we'll submit this request and wait a few seconds for the robot to start provisioning John's accounts. The robot starts by connecting to ServiceNow environment and looking up the ticket using a unique identifier. Next, it retrieves the new user's details to create an account in Active Directory using API automation, which means that we're performing that task by using Active Directory's API to create the new account. Now, the robot logs into SAP and uses the user's details to create credentials for the new user in SAP. This piece of automation is achieved through UI automation, which means that the robot is using the user interface like a human would to complete the step. This type of automation is very useful when you have to automate systems that do not have APIs like custom web applications and portals and legacy systems and green screens or even just a system that requires a developer to achieve the integration. Once the accounts have been provisioned, the robot emails the new user's manager to notify them that the user has been provisioned. Let's give the ServiceNow list a refresh and we will see that the ticket has been closed by the robot. Taking a look in Outlook, we can see the information John's manager received about the provisioned accounts for John. If we look inside of Active Directory, we can see that John Smith has been created and that he forms part of the developers group. So that is how UiPath and ServiceNow can work together to automate and thereby reduce the time it takes to provision a new employee. To recap, in our example, you saw how the bi-directional integration between UiPath and ServiceNow was used to interact with records in ServiceNow and start UiPath bots from inside ServiceNow to automate the provisioning of a new hire. You also saw how UI automation was used to interact with a system like SAP to create a new user account, and then finally, how API automation can be used to create a new account in Active Directory. This example can be further extended to manage groups in something like Microsoft Teams or memberships in channels in Slack using either UI or API automation. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.